Dear students, now we are going to discuss 80 to 53, 80 to 54 timers in detail. 80 to 53 and 80 to 54 timer controllers are programmable interval timers designed by Intel Corporation. The timers are mainly used to generate the accurate time delays and count under software control in microprocessor. Here this 8254 is a super set of 8253 timer. That means this 8254 is similar to that of 8253 but it is having an additional features. Okay. So next we are going to discuss the difference between this 8253 and 8254. It uses NMOS technology, 8254 uses HMOS technology. Its operating frequency is 0 to 2 MHz. Here it is 0 to 10 MHz. The readback command, that is a powerful command. It is not available in this 8253. Here it is available. The read and write operations of the same counter cannot be interleaved. Here the read and write operations of the same counter can be interleaved. Okay. Next one is. Features of 8254 timer, it has three identical presetable 16-bit counters. These counters can be programmed in six different modes for either binary or BCD operations by using system software. It can handle inputs from the range DC to 10 MHz. 8254 is a 24 pin dual inline package IC. It has a powerful command called readback command. Readback command is mainly used to allow the user to check the count value, mode of operation and current status of the counter. So it's very important this readback command is not available in 8253. Okay. So this is the advantage of 80 to 54. It is using this readback command. Okay. Multiple delays can be easily maintained by assigning the priority levels. So this all are the major features of 80 to 54 timer. Okay. This is the pin diagram of 80 to 54 timer. It is a 24 pin dual inline package IC. It's having 12 pin in this left hand side and 12 pins in this right hand side. So it has 8 data lines. There are 3 counters used in this 80 to 54 timer. Each counter is having 2 input signals and 1 output signal. Clock and gate are the input signals. Out is the output signal. So similarly we can have gate 1, out 1, clock 1, gate 2, out 2, clock 2. Then we have 5 control signals A1, A0, CS bar, read bar, write bar. These 5 are the control signals and here the 12th pin is grounded and the 24th pin is connected to VCC that is the power supply. Okay. Architecture of 80 to 54 timer. It is a programmable interval timer designed by Intel Corporation. It is mainly used to, to perform timing and counting functions in the microprocessor. Okay. This is the architecture of 80 to 54 timer. It has important functional units, data bus buffer, read write, logic unit, control word register and three counters. Okay. So here data bus buffer is used to transfer the data between the timer and that microprocessor. Okay. It is a 8-bit bus. Next, read-write logic. It is having 5 control signals. Read bar, write bar, A0, A1, CS bar. Here this A0 and A1 both are the address lines from the microprocessor. Okay. So next one is control word register. This register is very important because we are going to write the command word in this register. Okay. To control the operation of this timer circuit. There are three identical presetable 16-bit counters. Each counter is having two inputs and one output. Clock and gate are the inputs. Output signal is simply represented as out. There is an internal bus. 
which can connect all the functional blocks okay so these are the functional units three counters counter 0 counter 1 counter 2 data bus buffer read write control unit control word register let's discuss each type in detail here the first one is counters 80 to 54 has three identical presetable 16 bit down counters down counters means we have to set the maximum value by using the software so we can make a count by decreasing that value each counter has two input signals clock and gate and one output signal out it can be programmed in six different modes for either binary or bcd count so the modes can be discussed later okay the programmer can read the contents of any of the three counters without disturbing the actual count in the process by using read back command okay so the next one is data bus buffer it is a tri-state bidirectional 8-bit buffer it is used to interface the timer to the system data bus it is mainly used to load the counter register and also to read the counter values okay that is the major functions of this data bus buffer next one is read write control logic 80 to 54 has five control signals read bar write bar cs bar a0 and a1 in peripheral input output mode this read bar and write bar signals are connected with ior bar and iow bar that means input output read input output write for that input output devices in memory mapped mode the read bar and write bar signals are connected to mem r mem w signals okay next one is cs bar this control signal is connected to a decoded address address lines a0 and a1 these two are used to select the counter if the combination is 0 0 it can select the counter 0 if it is 0 1 it can select counter 1 1 0 means counter 2 if both are 1 it can select control word register okay so the next one is Control word register. It is very important in this 80 to 54 timer. This register is accessed only when these two address lines are logic high. That is A0 and A1 both are at 1. Then only we can access this control word register. That's what given here. Okay. So next it is used to write a command word which specifies the following operations like to find the counter to be used mode of the operation read write operation this is the structure of control word register so it is a 8 bit register let's start from this least significant bit bcd that is simply binary coded decimal operation m0 m1 m2 these three are used to select the mode of the operation rw1 rw0 both are used to select read or write operation sc1 sc0 can select the counter okay let's discuss each bit in detail here sc1 sc0 these two bits are used to select the counter if the combination is 0 0 it can select counter 0 0 1 means counter 1 1 0 means counter 2 1 1 means read back command so this read back command allows the user to check the count okay without disturbing the actual count so next rw1 rw0 that represents the read write control logic so here it is 0 0 then it can allow the counter latch command 0 1 means read write least significant byte counter is a 16 bit right so it can read or write only the least significant byte 1 0 means it can read or write only the most significant byte whenever both are one then it can read or write that least significant byte first and then most significant byte do you all understand so that is very important here next one is m2 m1 m0 these three bits are used to select the mode if the combination is 0 0 0 it can select mode 0 0 0 1 mode 1 
this is x x means don't care condition it can be either 0 or 1 whatever it may be if that m1 and m0 is 1 0 means it can select mode 2 here it is x 1 1 mode 3 1 0 0 means mode 4 1 0 1 means mode 5 okay so the last bit is b c d so if this bit is 0 the counter acts as a binary counter that is 16 bit binary counter if this value is 1, it can act as a BCD counter. Okay.